Thank you very much, Dr. Davidson. Welcome, everybody, to the American Society of Gene and Cell Therapy's 25th annual meeting. I'm David Barrett, and it's my privilege to serve the membership as the CEO of ASGCT. Whether you're joining us in DC or from your desktop, uh, thank you very much for being a part of our society. And we really have missed seeing you all in person. It's been three long years since the last time we were all together, uh, just a few miles down the road from where we are today. And I'm so happy to be here under one roof with you all. Now, despite this pause in our in-person meeting, ASGCT did not pause. We have been busier than ever. The society's been adapting, evolving, and growing as an organization to meet the needs of our members and our field. So, what's new since 2019? Well, the short answer is a lot. So let's start with one of the most visible changes, our logo. In 2020, we took on a new look and a new feel through our logo and branding change. The logo really leans into our acronym. We are ASGCT, and we're quite proud of it. The colors are bold, reflecting the boldness of the innovative research of our members. And the interconnected lines of the logo represent the inclusion of all areas of research and development that make up the diverse space of gene and cell therapy. What else is new? Well, many of you are new, new to ASGCT at least. We are first and foremost a society of researchers and professionals. So you are ASGCT and there are more of you today than ever before. In the last three years, we have grown 50% from about 3,500 members to more than 5,300 members today and counting. So thank you for being a part of our society. Perhaps the most palpable area of growth is in our annual meeting. The change from 2019 to today is truly impressive. More than 7,550 people have registered to attend ASGCT, a 60% increase, far away the largest gathering of gene and cell therapy professionals ever held. About 5,000 of us are here in person in DC, while another 2,500 are joining us virtually from across the world. So thank you for attending ASGCT. But attendance is only one component of the growth that we see here this week. ASGCT stands at the nexus of science and industry, connecting the two to drive innovations in our field. With the support of more than 250 companies represented in our exhibit hall and throughout the convention center, this partnership helps to support not just the annual meeting here, but so many of our programs. I hope you shared the excitement that I felt when I walked through the exhibit hall for the first time yesterday and when I was in the, the poster reception uh, last night. So please spend some time in the exhibit hall. Uh, there is just a lot to take in. And thank you to all of our corporate supporters uh, and exhibitors. While this is, I think, a really extraordinary event, ASGCT is much more than just a meeting. We also publish molecular therapy in our family of four academic journals, which lead the field of gene and cell therapy. And together, they publish more than 1,000 original research articles each year. The rising impact factors, as we see illustrated here, underscore the role that they play in advancing the field. And in the last three years, they too have grown at a tremendous pace. And I think we owe a special thank you to our editorial leadership for their vision and their hard work in getting us here. Now, when it became impossible for us to meet in person, we decided at the board's direction to really lean into virtual programming, expanding our efforts outside the annual meeting and filling the knowledge gaps that exist year round. So from virtual scientific symposia, patient outreach webinars, uh, skills-based education, partnered conferences around the world, all the way to our policy-related content. In the last 12 months alone, we have produced more than 150 hours of educational content and reached an audience of 15,000 viewers. I'm also particularly proud of our now award-winning patient outreach efforts, which included the launch of our website, patienteducation.asgct.org, where we partner with dozens of patient advocacy organizations and hundreds of volunteers to deliver scientifically accurate and reliable educational content to um, patient communities and the public. And it's having a big impact. To date, the videos in our patient outreach series have reached close to 750,000 views and counting. We've also launched a global outreach effort to extend our mission beyond the United States. So your scientific advances can, and they do impact the entire world as we're about to hear today. And ASGCT is doing its part to support researchers around the globe. Uh, we're doing this by working with partners in countries with low and middle income economies to provide education to help build the infrastructure necessary to advance gene and cell therapy research. 
Now here in the United States and right here in Washington, D.C., we support our members by advocating for advancements uh, and increases in research funding, approval for safe and effective therapeutics, and expanded access to those therapies. And by regularly engaging with the FDA, the NIH, policymakers, and other stakeholders, we continue to advance these goals. In 2021, I'm also proud to say we became a founding member of the Bespoke Gene Therapy Consortium of the Foundation for the NIH. Our member education uh, efforts have also expanded considerably over the last couple of years. We've launched uh, educational and scientific programming in, in all of these areas, uh, global outreach, professional development cafes, our insight series, and our lunch and learns. The insight series are really the flagship of our virtual programming. These are scientific symposia that are planned and executed in conjunction with our scientific committees. Uh, and they feature keynote level talks on, on novel scientific advances uh, throughout the year. Now another area where ASGCT has grown considerably is in how we acknowledge and support our early career professionals through our grants and awards programs. Our career development awards recognize early career researchers and scientists providing, uh, and providing funding of up to $100,000 for one year to support their research. Last year, we were able to expand this program through a, gener a generous grant in partnership with the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Uh, and together, we funded nine awardees at that level. So I want to say thank you very much to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. We look forward to working with you in 2022 and beyond. 2021 also saw the successful launch of three diversity, equity, and inclusion awards uh, that are aimed at supporting members of underrepresented populations in science and supporting research on conditions that disproportionately affect minorities. These fellowships together total $250,000 in funding opportunities. Today, I'm also to announce for the very first time the launch of the Mavis Agbanje McKenna Scholarship and Fund. So those of you who were fortunate enough to have known Dr. Mavis understand her dedication to scientific excellence, uh, her, her love for mentoring others, and her unending willingness to collaborate. The loss of Mavis was felt deeply throughout the society and throughout the entire field. Now this permanent scholarship seeks to continue her legacy through ASGCT and focuses on identifying promising early career researchers who are also members of underrepresented populations in science and provide the financial resources necessary to eliminate all barriers to participating in ASGCT. More information on how you can support the fund will be coming soon on our website. And I also wanna take a moment to thank our generous corporate and individual contributors who, who made donations to help make this scholarship possible. So in total, when we add it all up, ASGCT will award approximately one and a half million dollars to support researchers in 2022, a number that I'm very proud of. And one other thing that I wanna say before I end is that these programs are made possible not only of the support of our members and volunteers, but by the hard work of ASGCT's 30 dedicated professional staff that we see here. They are responsible for bringing these and all of our programs to life. Uh, and they're in here in DC, many of them uh, in the audience right now, to support you and all of our members. So I wanna say thank you very much to the ASGCT team. And if you see them, uh, please thank them as well. And with that, I hope that you are all enjoying the annual meeting and I'm looking forward to seeing you next year in Los Angeles. Thank you very much.